hello. Carlos and I got up very early this morning because we had a meeting, but we are done now and we are going to make coffee. I am so excited. Hopefully today we nailed it. Last night when I made coffee, I absolutely nailed it. So hopefully I can remake it today. We have our coffee pitcher, mason jazz two mason jars. By the way, these mason jars are the perfect mason. They're a little bit rounder. The ones that are a little bit cheaper, not as in quality, but in price, they're more wide and square. And those I find at Target. I think they have a pack of 12 for $15. These are rounder. They're called the perfect, you'll like see it on the glass. It says perfect mason. I got these on Amazon. I'll link them down below uh, for you guys. So click on the link down below. They are about $10 each. So they're quite an investment. You can also find mason jars at Michael's, but I don't know if they are the same design. Like I don't know if they're rounder. These are my favorite. They're really, really pretty and they're huge. So I love them. I'm gonna start with my frother and Let's try to remember how I made it yesterday because yesterday was so freaking good. So these are the things I did. Okay, we have our heavy whipping cream, our oat barista blend milk, and our international delight, delight French vanilla. A subscriber told me if I like this, I should get the international delight sweet cream from Cold Stone. So I'm gonna go get that. I have to find it first. Hopefully my Target has it. And last night we did the hazelnut muffin flavor, I believe, coffee. Yeah, hazelnut muffin. So, oh, or maybe we should try something new today, huh? Let's see. No, I really want hazelnut muffin today. So we're gonna do hazelnut muffin. One for Carlos and one for myself. I'll make Carlos's first. But let me start making the um, creamer. So we have cups here. This is the Nespresso frother, you guys know that, but in case you're new to the channel, I just got a Nespresso and I'm very excited and very obsessed with it. And I'm trying to learn it, I've only had it for like a few days. So for the this, we're gonna do vanilla syrup, which you can get for $12. This whole bottle was $12 at Starbucks. So I'll do two pumps. And then this is the Terrani French vanilla. And we'll do two pumps of this. I'm going to be honest with you, I think that the Terrani French Vanilla from Amazon is so much better than the Starbucks. It's really, really good. And then I'm gonna do a little bit of the French Vanilla International Delight. And then a little bit of the oat milk. And then finishing off with heavy cream. And then I'm going to put this on my frother over here. Hi. Press and hold so it turns blue, so it starts frothing. And then I'm gonna pop in the coffee. Bye, old one. Nice. 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 Very nice. Very nice. Going. This one's delicious. I love this one. This one we had Yep, nailed it. Babe? Yeah. Nailed it, come here. Thanks. That'll be 20 bucks. What? Yeah, I'm pretty expensive these days. Mm, you owe me, so. Oh, you go away. You lost. Oh, you wanna fight me today. I'll take it. I'm just kidding, it's really good. <laughs> is it good or do you want me to make you another one? No, this is good. Yeah, <laughs> hint of coffee, you like it? Good? No, yeah, it's good. Hey look, our cement is done. Oh, you guys, our backyard is going to be done. So excited. Super excited. Wow. 
Did I nail it? You did. This flavor is good. Hazelnut muffin. Yeah. Uh, I think this is my favorite one so far. It's my favorite one too. And then caramel cookie. No. This is my favorite one. And then my second one is the vanilla custard pie. Oh, yeah. And then the, what is the other one? Caramel cookie. Look, say hi. Okay. Wow, so many bites. It looks really light, like it's gonna taste too sweet, but it's actually really good. Mm hmm You like it a bit lighter than I do. It's good. I don't mind the coffee taste as much as you. I just hate that I always have this much left. Pisses me off because I don't want to waste this. You want it? Didn't you have a mason jar in there? I mean, it's only a little. No, 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 mine's already. I, if I add more, it's going to be way too sweet and I'm going to be pissed. Now that it's during the day, I can show you guys the beautiful vase that we did literally last night and we finished at 3 o'clock in the morning. Isn't she so beautiful? Basically, if you guys missed the video, I wanted this exact vase on the Studio McGee website and it was $138. And I found this vase at Target for $20 and I just spray painted the bottom. It's so freaking beautiful. I think I'm gonna do another one today. Yeah, I, I think I'm gonna do another one today. I was going to repaint this and make the black a little bit thicker, but I think it's okay the way it is. I'm gonna paint the other one cream, so we're gonna do that in a little bit. Hi, Bobs. Do you like the new pillow? Yeah? Look how, oh, Casper. Casper is an animal. Casper, will you please leave Cooper alone? Caspi! Casper! Stop it! Are they all in there? Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, Casper, stop! <laughs> yeah, they're all chilling. I told you that was worth uh, a buy. Cooper's literally over it. He's like, man, I was chilling by myself. And I got these two next to me. Ah, uh, he loves his brothers. No, he's over it. You can tell in his face he's over it. <laughs> he's like an animal. Animal! Casper, you excited? Are you excited? Are you excited, old man? Riley, are you excited? Oh boy, oh god, oh god, oh my gosh, okay. Cooper, are you excited? You guys, uh, Kim is not home right now. She went to go do some errands and I think she's getting her nails done as well. Alex just finished the backyard and I went to go look at it and it looks amazing. I think it looks so good and I'm really happy that it finally got done. So right now I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what it looks like and then after that, I'm gonna go ahead and let the dogs out so we can, uh, we can see their reaction and they can kind of It'll go a little bit crazy in the backyard for a little bit. So obviously you guys know this all right here is the California room and I'm going to build this on Sunday. Today is Friday. He finally got done like literally 15 minutes ago. He called me out and he just showed me around, made sure that everything was okay. And so I'm going to go ahead and set the furniture up, I think on Sunday. I'm going to set the table up and then we're going to set the little furniture that Kim bought. And um, so yeah, we'll go ahead and do that on Sunday. but. Here you go, you guys. So this is all turf going down that way. And then we got this little, we had them put concrete right here on this side so that we can put a little barbecue. The outlet's right there so that the barbecue will be set up right here. We'll have that little setup going there. Then if we turn this way, we extended, we had the California room extended out. And so right here we could do like maybe uh, a little, buy like those, um, like fire like the little fire pit kind of things maybe put like little chairs around not have it be too big we want some room for the dogs where we want this for sure especially during the winter it gets kind of cold so having family over and having that little bonfire kind of going or the little fire going on right here would be kind of dope and then we had them put turf on this side as well we were gonna have them put gravel on this side but then it was it would be i i thought we thought that it was gonna be kind of weird if we had gravel here and it just kind of connected with that gravel there and so we just kind of made them put concrete here just to kind of like be symmetrical to that side and i think it came out really good we don't know what we're gonna put there i'm pretty sure kim will come up with something but I mean, I just think it looks so good though. And I'm glad we went that route because it's symmetrical, looks better. And then on this side over here, I think we showed you 
in an earlier video uh, they had already put this so this is gravel all along goes all the way pretty much extends all of our backyard and originally it was gonna be mulch or like wood chips and we were like no that just we, we didn't want to deal with that have the mulch or wood chips be everywhere so we decided to go ahead and just do gravel and then there's like a little border that separates pretty much this gravel from pretty much everything else and it's just a concrete border that just kind of goes all along and it just separates everything we think it looks i think it looks really good i'm honestly in love with how everything turned out and so you guys already saw this part this is uh the gravel and pretty much this is going to be the side all dedicated to the dogs eventually what we want to do is we don't know but we want to have some kind of setup for the dogs here so that they can kind of go crazy and then eventually we want brian and jocelyn to uh, build us a little fence right here a little fence a little gate or something so whenever we have company and the dogs are outside and they're kind of going crazy we can put them on this side and they can just go crazy there and everybody will be happy but I don't know you guys I think oh I forgot to show you the other side I think overall I'm extremely happy with the way it came out I know that you can't really see the dogs but they're literally just waiting to come out right now so and this entire side is basically just concrete and this is where the trash cans are gonna be so it's just gonna be really easy to roll the trash cans in and out but this is basically just for the trash cans and a little walkway obviously whenever people come in we have like parties and stuff we let them in through the backyard and this they'll end up over here but i'll go ahead and show you guys again i don't know you guys i think i think it came out amazing i i'm really in love with it i'm really happy with it alex did an amazing job and I, i'm just i'm just really happy that this process is finally done and we can finally let the dogs out I'm, I'm, i love it you guys i i'm so happy with it i can't even tell you guys how happy i am and then eventually uh kim and i want to do a she wants to do like a covering for this brick wall it doesn't look i don't think it looks bad but i'm it can look a little better so she wants to do that she wants to do like a covering like put like a like a wood like put wood on it make it look really nice and then we want to do like a seating area i don't know if, i don't think it's going to be all along this section we want like a seating area maybe like spaced out so that whenever we do have little parties and stuff back here there's more seating area the good thing is that this section right here is like about two feet so it's like perfect for you to just like sit down and still have room and stuff but i don't know you guys i'm in love with it i can't wait till kim comes home and get her reaction because i know she's going to be extremely happy so i'm going to go ahead and let the dogs out and see what they think about it you guys ready i don't know if you can see them but let's let them out come on you guys come on cooper cooper Come on, come on. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Huh? Do you guys love it? Yeah? There we go. Got the first pee on the brand new turf. We put drains at the bottom of the turf so that whenever they do pee or they do poop, I can just hose it down and it's not gonna stink and it's just gonna go all the, the water's just gonna go out to the front and to the, uh, through the drainage and stuff like that. But you like it, huh? You like your yard? Oh, we got a pooper. Rocky. Rocky. <laughs> oh man, everyone had to poop today. Oh man, oh man. Riley. 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 Rocky. Rocky. Come here. Come here. I'm gonna throw it. I'm gonna throw it to you. Ready? 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 Riley! Riley! <laughs> oh my goodness. But you guys really like it, huh? Yeah? <laughs> well, there's gonna be a lot of this right here. Sir, what are you doing? Huh? What are you doing, sir? 
What are you doing? Huh? Hi. Do you guys love it? Guess what happened to me? Oh no, what? I literally drove to the salon and I don't have my wallet. Oh my god. And then I drove back and there was there was two accidents, so it took freaking forever. Did Alex just leave? Yeah, like 20 minutes ago. Oh my god. What I just do you think. I love it. Oh, it's so nice. I think it looks so good. Oh my gosh. Did you see the did you see the gravel uh, no. and turf? No. It doesn't look bad at all. Oh they pooped. I need to pick it up. Oh, and Riley uh, peed on the thing, so I gotta wash it down. <laughs> oh my god. Sorry for the poo poo, you guys. We have a backyard. I know. And he's been doing that all over the yard. Oh, yeah, we're gonna have Jocelyn and Ryan do the panels to hide this brick wall because it's not really the back. And then we're gonna do a little seating area spaced out or something. But I mean, honestly, I, I love it. I think it came out so good. I'm so happy. I am too. I think I think the dogs. I'm glad that too. we stayed in our budget. I know. Cause, dang, back landscaping in general is expensive. Oh God, here she goes. What? Instagramming her back. <laughs> oh wow. my gosh, look, we got a tired one. <laughs> Riley, do you like it? Look. Bubba, do you love your new backyard? Yeah. Oh, you're so happy. So many of you guys told me to get this and I got it at Target and I'm very excited. This is the International Delight Cold Stone Sweet Cream. You guys said that it's very, very, very close to the Starbucks Sweet Cream. I also got a few other things I wanna show you at Target. I picked these up, so you guys tell me if these are good, okay? I picked these two things up from Target. We got the Starbucks, first of all, Starbucks packaging is so cute. This is the Starbucks Tof Toffee Nut Latte Creamer. Do you guys know if this is good? And then I also got this, which is like the cutest packaging ever. This is the original oat, oat milk, dairy free, soy free. I'm very excited to try this. But today, we are trying the, what's going on? Today we are trying the, this one. I'm very excited for this one. Okay. I'm very excited. I didn't use the frother today. I decided that we're just going to pour some of this in. Oh, I just took the thing off. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. You need to go get this. The International Delight Cold Stone Sweet Cream flavored with this little ice cream thing. Oh my gosh, this is so good. That is amazing. We love, wow. I feel like I need to share this on Instagram. Let me pour Carlos some. Wow, that is like freaking good. Like so good. You guys were FaceTiming Michelle. Hi. Hi. Michelle asked me about my camera that I got today, so I figured I'd turn on the camera and share both. <laughs> Best Buy haul. <gasps> my raisin canes is coming. Okay, I got a new mouse. For yours? Yeah, for my computer because the MacBook mouse um, actually like is uncomfortable. Mm, it's pretty flat. Yeah, it's uncomfortable. And this one is the one Carlos has and I've been loving it. So I got this. Mm. And then I got, they had a sale on um, memory cards. I don't know if you need one. 128. But I think it's still cheaper on Amazon by like maybe $5. Damn camera. Uh oh. <laughs> this is my new camera. Does it come with the bunny bunny tail? Uh, yeah, it comes with the dead cat. What? <laughs> it's like called a dead cat or something. I don't know, something cat. Oh, it comes with it? That's cool. Yeah, but I never use it. For like wind? Yeah, it's for it's to decrease wind noise. So this is the Sony ZV-1, which is like the new camera that Sony made specifically for vloggers, which I think is so smart, and I don't know why other camera companies don't do that. I, I would like Canon too. You know what I'm saying? Um, let's see, let us let me read all the specs for all of y'all. It shoots 4K, that's all I need. <laughs> um, the focus is really good. I was doing my research on YouTube and like watching all the videos, and the focus is like crazy. And then there's this feature on the camera where like if you wanna blur the background, you can click the button. And then if you want it to be clear in the background, you can click the button. Okay, Canon. <laughs> I know. I need to work on their shit. Um, and then Sony always has the face uh, filter. Like yeah. skin smoothing thing. 
I just like I just love it because my Fuji weighs about 10 pounds. So I'm excited for this. The only problem with this camera when it came out like a few months ago, I didn't buy it was because I was hoping that Sony would come out with the next model and make the lens wider because this lens is a 24 millimeter. So like when you hold it up to vlog, it's close to your face. Because oh, because I'm used to a 10 millimeter, right. which is extremely wide. And honestly, they got. I'm sorry. No, I just realized I was wondering why I wasn't holding the. Canon G7X, and then I was like, oh. It's too close. It's, yeah. You're not used to it. After using a 10 millimeter lens, you cannot go back to a normal lens. Right. And then I feel like they need to stop doing this whole charging camera thing. I really like having a separate charger. If you buy this camera, you can go on Amazon and get a wide lens that goes to 18 millimeters, which is still not wide enough for me, but I'll deal. I'm in it. It's better than getting off right if I'm going to lose from holding Fuji. She weighs nothing. She kind of looks like a toy. She doesn't weigh anything. Well, yeah, it's made for vloggers. Why would you want to hold something so, so heavy? She's nice. Oh Apparently, the quality is like spectacular. Ooh. Oh. The battery's very small. Oh my god, I hope it lasts like. I got three. I got three backup batteries. Yeah, cause that's I hate when there's low battery. Oh, mom, it's really nice English. What is the date? The date is the twenty fifth, I believe. I hate setting things up. I know you do. What is it, February, Mom? Yeah. February the 26th. Mm-hmm. <sighs> 2021, and it is p.m. 8.53. 8.53. We're, we're, we're ready. Oh, wow, I like that it doesn't have a lot of buttons. Like, it's quick to it's, the point. It's quick, quick, quick. Like, if you're in different lighting, you just, you know, change it. Let me see how close this shit is. Oh, God. Okay, it's not too bad. <laughs> Wait, why did I think? It's just you really have to extend your arm. And my arm's not that long. Yeah, that might be the problem. Wait, I want to show you. Uh, you probably can't see, huh? No. What about not now? like the clarity of it. Okay, well, can you see the focus? Ready? Yeah. I can't. Friend, I don't really know what I'm doing. I can't see. It's not grabbing it. Sorry. <laughs> no, it's okay. I feel like I have to show you. Oh, I'm doing it too close. What the hell? I feel like I have to do it in person. Oh, got it. Look at that, friend. Yay. That's what they were telling me about. Ooh, that's what they were telling me on YouTube about this camera. Not me, personally, but on um, <laughs> about this camera was the focus. And then let me see this. Wait, that's amazing. Oh, my God. I really like the clear, not clear thing. Oh, okay. Oh, my God, it's so light, mother. Mother. Wow, it feels... At this point, anything is light for you considering your Fuji. I will complain on and on and on about your Fuji. But I actually think this is this is lighter than the Canon, the Canon um, G7X. I mean, I would think so, right? Because it's new and it's... Where is your G7X? In my studio. Oh my god, do those weigh the same? I'm, I'm, I, Because I wanted to give you an idea, so I'm like... Do you have your tripod? Yeah. Go hold it. This was a this was a really good purchase. I'm very very happy, and I haven't used it yet, but I have this feeling. Okay, I'm holding it. Yeah. No way. Yeah, I'm actually kind of nervous because this can easily drop. Holy crap! Does it still have like the Sony filter on it? What's a Sony filter? You know how like you know how that one time I got that Sony camera, and I just realized it's really very cinematic and warm. That. That Sony, I think you got the 60 some, 6,000 something, 6,300, 6,500? Yeah. I would say like that one's a little bit more advanced than this one. I think they made this really good quality and simple. Well, you can play with mine tomorrow. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I'm and I love it. It's very difficult. Um, at least I haven't found a camera like this, but I feel like it's very difficult for a camera this small to give you that beautiful cinematic effect that my right. really big cameras get. So like, if I put a water bottle right here and I'm like trying to get this shot of the water bottle, it's so freaking pretty. Like right now, everything else is blurry. See, yeah, I like that. That's really pretty. I mean- You're right, to have that in such a small, compact camera. And I just like there's not a lot of buttons. Like it's not intimidating. I need that because, like, I don't know much about cameras. It's on sale. 
Is it really? Uh, Best Buy's having a sale. It's um a hundred dollars off. What's the name of it? Let me go search it up right now. It's the Sony ZV1. ZB? ZV. V as in vagina. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, this is really nice. Yeah, because coming from, um, oh, and you know what I love? I haven't been able to zoom in a while. Oh, you haven't? <gasps> this zooms, oh. this zooms to 70 millimeters. 70. Holy crap! 70 millimeters. Wow. Crazy. Oh, uh, yeah, you're gonna want this when you see it tomorrow. I already know. You might actually really like this. Wow, I'm very impressed. If uh, Westminster Mall doesn't have it, my store has a few. They have one. Oh, they have a white one too. Mm. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't really. <gasps> it is on sale. Yeah, yeah, it's on sale right now. Oh my god, mom. I know. You guys, I highly recommend only by playing with it for literally five minutes, I can already see that this is gonna be a good one. However, if for some, like, if possible, Sony came out with one where you could change up the lens, but as I was saying that, I realized that this was meant, the purpose of this is for vloggers. It's for us to easily put in our pocket and bring around. Like when we go to West Elm this weekend, yeah. I won't be scared to whip out my camera because it's not chunky. Girl, you're telling me, <laughs> you carry your camera or my camera half the time. So I like this. I like this a lot and I understand, I just wish the lens could have been a little bit wider because as a vlogger, you do this a lot and you ain't trying to show, especially, especially me and my chapped lips, like we ain't trying to, you know? <laughs> we ain't trying to show my chapped lips right now. Oh my God, I'm dying. This is really nice. Can you nice. see like a warm tint? That's literally the only thing I'm worried but about. But you can do, you can change all that in your editing. Mm, true. According to me right now, my house looks cool tone. Not like blue, but it's a neutral, it's a very uh, on point color. Like it's not. It's true, it's true to like color. Yeah, I would say it's true tone. I look olive. I look the same, I look the same. I look like this. Oh my god, this is actually really nice. What the hell? You know what? I, I'm not mad about the lens. I don't know why the first time I tried it, I was so like, ew, that's so close. I think you haven't had it in a while either. Like, you've been working with wide lenses for a while. Let's just, I'll figure, I'm going to use this this weekend.